Good evening, everyone. It's uh, Joe Chaffee here on this Friday night. It's uh, just uh, about 9.18 Eastern Time on uh, Friday, April the 20th. I hope everybody had a great day. Uh, Fios One News Long Island, Fios One News New Jersey for me, uh, Fios One News Hudson Valley's Joe Rayo will be in momentarily as uh, he uh, takes care of a few odds and ends. And uh, we start looking ahead to the weekend. And it's finally here, and I can look ahead to my fishing trip uh, going up uh, to uh, northern Connecticut to uh, fish the Farmington River. And I'm going to go with my uh, my fishing buddies uh, and have a great time. And that is the plan. Mike Panici, uh, I see one is here. I hope one is feeling better. Um, Mike is now, you know... He, my, uh, Mike, uh, you may have seen him on the last episode of CBS's Instinct, uh, which is their new show that airs on uh, on Sunday night. Uh, he was there. It was it what it was uh, not what he didn't say, but how he didn't say it. Um, today he's in the background. Tomorrow he's carrying an Emmy. That's that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm sorry you're still a little bit under, but you will one day at a time, pal. So, anyhow, uh, and uh, yeah, I hope I do kill him too with the trout. Uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. So uh, we've got our weekend underway. Let me just uh, say right off the bat, and I think Joe will concur uh, with regards to this, uh, in that uh, this is a time of year where those of you who like to garden will be out there thinking about uh, what plants you're going to put down, what kind of flowers, vegetables, and so on. And uh, I'm just saying, Mr. Rayo, yes. that I was just about to say that um, this is a, uh, a weekend where uh, folks might be uh, putting down, you know, their gardens, uh, starting up their gardens, putting down flowers and, and vegetables and all the rest of it. And I was about to say, looking at what I saw in the long range, that that might not be the best thing to do right now. It might be better to wait. I think so. I think uh, you could put it off for, for maybe another week or so uh, because we're still in a, a pattern, Joe, where, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, the next three or four days are going to be magnificent. I can't even remember being able to promise our viewers on Fios 1 um, four or five straight dry, sunny days. We had one today. We'll have uh, four, at least four more tomorrow and Sunday, Monday and Tuesday um, of dry weather. And then we're going to go back to kind of a coolish and damp weather pattern for the middle of next week on Wednesday into Thursday. And uh, then try to start coming out of it by the end of next week. But uh, we're not fully there yet in terms of a protracted or prolonged spell of, of typical spring weather. And it, uh, tonight, tomorrow night... We're going to see temperatures once again plummet down through the 30s, and uh, uh, I hope you hadn't already started putting stuff, you know, the seeds or whatever in your garden because uh, these next couple of nights will be rather tough for uh, tender seedlings and, and plants that are exposed to that very cold weather. And I have a reason for that, by the way. This is why, because um, this is next Saturday. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, Will it ever end? Well... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you look, I'm going to widen it out to show you the full U.S. view here. Um, this is just so wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is really, it's wrong. It should not be happening now, but, you know, this is what we have. And that is, uh, the, you know, the, and models have been doing this for the last few days. But they seem to be coming front and center on this idea, uh, you know, fairly deep trough uh, in the east. And this is going to be a, uh, this would be a, a shot of cold. This would be a shot of cold air. Right. It may not last long. It may just be in and out. There's the 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 good thing is that there's no block. So uh, if you know if this does materialize, that upper low is going to pull out, and then you get into a bit of a ridge. And we're talking right. now next weekend, and then by then we're talking going into the week after. We're now into the first days of May. But the bottom line is that there is probably going to be another shot of cold air coming in. For next weekend, and oh. that's why I think you probably might want to wait with with all the delicate stuff. Now, what am I going to tell my wife? She bought two hundred pounds of lime from Home Depot, <laughs> and she carried it home. Yeah. Well, did the back of the car. Or whatever, oh, naturally. 
Um, and guess who had to take the 200 pounds of lime out of the car when she got home? Whatever, so. uh, yes, well, yeah. it wasn't Ethel Mertz. <laughs> um, oh, dear. It just doesn't seem to want to. But this weekend, uh, take full advantage of... Yeah, let's go. Let's go to look at... Uh, let me bring back... The, let's go to the east. Let's get rid of this. And let's just go back to the eastern part of the United States. And... Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, you've got this beautiful big high that's building in, and the next low is going to take four days to move across the south, and it really doesn't get here till, uh at the earliest, the early morning hours on Wednesday before we get into some rain. So, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be fine. Uh, certainly through Monday, maybe right. Tuesday, we just start to get into some high clouds, but yeah, enjoy it. Uh, temperatures reflexively want to go back into the 60s this start this time of year so it, we should get get close to it tomorrow and then maybe into the 60s low 60s Sunday and maybe pushing 64 or 5 in a few places on Monday what will make tomorrow nice will be uh, the fact that we're not going to have the winds that we had out there today the temperature in the Hudson Valley in many places uh, was struggling just to break 50 degrees but then you tack on the winds which were 10 to 20 even 25 miles an hour and those temperatures felt a lot closer to the mid and low 40s as opposed to near 50. At least tomorrow will not be as harsh, and also it'll be milder. We'll have temperatures well up in the 50s. Some places may even approach 60 tomorrow. If we don't get it tomorrow, we'll certainly be there, maybe low 60s, as you just mentioned, on Sunday. And I'm, I'm already nominating Monday as the pick of the week. And, in fact, here's a $5 word for you, Joe, antithesis, because oh. Monday will be the antithesis of last Monday. If you remember last Monday, a cloudy, dank, dreary, windy, rainy, and of course we picked up in some places in excess of three inches of rain, and quite the contrary now to what we're, we saw on Monday, the antithesis, the 180 degree opposite of that, will come this Monday with blue skies, bright sunshine, dry weather, low humidity, and temperatures probably hovering within a few degrees of 65, so a great way to kick off next week, especially if you're planning to go fishing, by the way, yes. on Monday. Yes, uh, I have a, a, an antithesis, but uh, she's a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, you know, I had to. That anti, I, anti, anti antithesis? Or, right, right, or right. an uncle antithesis. Yes, um, yes I, am, I, uh, I am going up to uh, northern Connecticut with my, uh, my fishing buddies, um, Phil Buzz, who you've met. Um, my uh, buddy Howie, uh, who um, you haven't met, and my buddy John, right. who you haven't met. I but really you met Phil. I, I, you know, I, I think back to my childhood, and the first I did a lot of fishing for the first ten years when when I was with my dad before the divorce, um, and he used to take me to the jetties on Atlantic Beach where we would. Uh, uh, fish for striped bass, mm -hmm. or sometimes my uncle uh, Frank, uh, early in the morning in the middle of summertime, we'd go out to Babylon in his cabin cruiser or nice. whatever. Um, or we go. I used to go to another, Pelham Bay Park in the Bronx, and we used to go in the back by the Sound and, and fish for snappers. Well, you know, I used to uh, snappers. Yeah, there were a lot of sna snapper season. I think guess is the end of August and September. We did that at Reynolds Inlet, which mm -hmm. is near the Atlantic Beach Bridge. I used to try to fish near the. Uh, the, uh, not the Hunts Point drawbridge, the other drawbridge. The uh, uh, it's called the Unionport Bridge. And in fact, if you yes, look straight yeah. to the south, you can see the Whitestone Bridge, right, right. Westchester Creek, they called it. Right. But the only thing we ever caught in there was were eels. Um, right. Yeah, and it was polluted for a long polluted, time. Polluted. Yeah, you didn't want to. Now it's clean. You know, it's a little cleaner. That's that uh, that canal that goes almost almost as far back to about Tremont Avenue. If right. I remember. Right. Right. I know my Bronx. You know. <laughs> And Brigol, is that how you pronounce it? Brigol. Brigol. Oh, the Brigols. They, they. Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking about. Said, uh, my my grandmother said these are only good for one thing: soup. You know, well, just, you know, sea robins <clears throat> um, were a huge problem last year. Uh, they were everywhere. Uh, they, I mean, literally everywhere. And they are, they're actually kind of cool looking fish, but. And, and there's a very small part of the fillet which is edible. I, right. you know, I don't eat them. I just we just throw them back. But <clears throat> they uh, they moan when you take them. You know, when you're really? trying to get the hook off, and you're trying, you know, while they're out after you bring them out of the water, they actually and they grunt. Oh. almost sound like they dogs. They they actually are colored like robins, and yeah. they almost look like 
Well, they I, have I, wings. I, I've seen sea robins. And, yeah. uh, and uh, what about blowfish? They, they're, I've around? Ne- they're around. I haven't. I I haven't caught one, but they 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 uh, they are around, um, and they were around last year. Yeah. And they're supposed to be uh, fun fish to catch too. Yeah. But I'm going for trout, and I got my salmon stamp too. So because uh, uh, Atlantic salmon have been sneaking their way up the Connecticut uh, River, and they've been stocking them. So um, <clears throat> got my fingers crossed. Maybe I'll get lucky. And the that difference way. between the, the reels now, there's the the reel that looks like a cylinder, um, where the you know. The well, I have a spin thing. rod. I mean, I have a spin rod. Right. And then I have a fly rod. Now the spin with, rod with a fly reel. Now the the one where you 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 have you take that thing and you push it on back. That's right. Like, that that's a spin rod or that's the spinner. Yeah. Okay. So I I, I know I, the one I, you're talking about is like the cylinder with the little hole in it. You know? Right. Yeah. No. I don't. You know, no. Again, I, got I, spin rod. I, I got three of them in the car. I we could fish. The, we, we could fish the the pond outside the. There's fish in that in that. Really? Way. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well. Well, you know what? We need to sneak out. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh-huh. Yo, uh, I think I think you're gonna have you're gonna have a nice stretch of weather. You certainly know how to pick them. That's I got very lucky. I was praying the last couple of weeks, seeing how the weather was, and I mean, both of us are are very mentally exhausted by, by uh, uh, the winter, and especially March into early April. Those last four week, those four weeks in there, the four or five weeks or whatever it was, were just you know murder uh, in terms of what it's done done to me. You know, working every day and right. everything else. Right. So I needed these days, and I just I I prayed that that the weather would be okay because and I got it. and I got it. So you got, you uh, got it. <clears throat> this is going to be uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So this weekend is big for you for fishing. For me, I'm going to be away this weekend at uh, Rockland Community College. Every year at Rockland Community College uh, in April, they have the what is known as the NEF or the Northeast uh, Astronomy Forum, and Literally anywhere from two to four thousand people descend from all parts of the country. This is the biggest astronomical and space exposition. You can literally <laughs> so, somebody referred to it as, as as crack cocaine for for amateur astronomers in the sense that you could buy if, if you go in there, it's like a candy store: telescopes, tripods, binoculars, cameras, anything and everything that you want. And you have to be gear- very careful if you bring your credit card because you could very easily burn off quite a bit of money unexpectedly. There's just so much stuff. And that combined with some of the high world-class speakers in astronomy and cosmology, astrophysics, aeronautics. We're we're going to have the, I think, one of the top officials from SpaceX there this weekend speaking. uh, Former head of the space shuttle program. Um, uh, It's just absolutely amazing. And I'm I'm honored. Uh, I'm, I'm flattered that they've asked me to uh, be the person to kick things off tomorrow at the college at 1030. Oh, great. Uh, to welcome everybody. And I always welcome people by saying that, it, to me, when this comes around every year, it's the end of winter, not St. Patty's Day or uh, the seeing the first robin. Because usually when they, when they have this, winter is behind us. And it looks like, well, not necessarily because next weekend is going to turn cold, but the bulk of the winter is behind us, and you start thinking now those warmer, warmer days and nights. And they and they will come. And they will come. And so if you're if you're in the neighborhood, <coughs> Rockland Community College, uh, tomorrow and Sunday, it's a world class event. If you're into science and astronomy and space, and uh, I will be there both days, and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing a lot of our Joe and Joe fans and our Fios One fans out there uh, tomorrow and Sunday, and. Uh, It'll be great. So you'll be having fun with the fishing pole. I'll be having be fun, having fun. Looking, looking at the telescopes and, and the speakers and everybody else. All right. So you know what? Let's start having fun now by saying goodbye. <laughs> because <laughs> it's Friday night. I want to go home. You want to go home. Uh, so uh, tune in top of the hour for Fios 1 News Long Island and Fios 1 News New Jersey with me. And uh, for me, it's Fios 1 News Lower Hudson Valley. And by the way, all of you on New Jersey and Long Island side, you're going to have me on Monday and Tuesday while Mr. Chiaffi gets his well-deserved rest fishing or whatever. And you told me when you catch a fish, you throw it back anyway. Yeah, I catch it yeah. release. And the Joe and Joe show will take a pause Monday and Tuesday of next week, so we'll be back on Wednesday. Okay. All right. Right. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you then. Or reservoir.